top is today taking on Stafford Rangers here at Rockingham Road. Just uh, a couple of weeks of the season left and it's getting very tight at the top of the conference. Kidderminster still top, but the Pop is still in with a very good chance of making that top place and therefore achieving a place in the Football League next season. The sides today for Kettering in goal, it's Graham Benstead, two is Graham Reid, three is Nick Ashby, four Steve Holden, five is Darren Oxborough, six Robin Taylor, seven Warren Donald, eight is Phil Brown, nine is Gareth Price, there's Warren Donald's shot, number ten is Mark Whitehouse, eleven is Mark Dempsey, the subs are Dean Martin and Owen Wright. For Stafford it's Ryan Price in goal, two is Darren Bow Bowie, Three is Mark Bradshaw, four is Wayne Simpson, five is Steve Essex, six is David Fox, seven Danny Williams, eight is Tony Griffiths, nine is Lee Roy May, ten, ten is Andy Mee, eleven Paul Shepstone, and the subs are George Berry and Seamus Luby. It's Reed with the header away, but uh, not enough on it. Oh, and a uh, poor shot, but it still might fall. And uh, Benstead was flying across his goal, and I'm not sure if he would have got to that or not. It, would have been a little bit unlucky that was the attempted shot by May it was a very poor one and uh, the second one was over the top Donald gone out, pop his throw, taken by Graham Reid, well, cleverly kept in by Warren Donald, here's Reid, now Donald, nice bit of football this, so this is great stuff, what a goal, an absolutely superb goal, Phil Brown the man that finished off that move, but some sparkling football then by the poppies. And Phil Brown salutes the supporters. Just look at this. There he is. Plays the 1-2. And was there just to slot it home. One more look at it. And the keeper really didn't stand a lot of chance once Brown had decided he was going to connect with it. This is Dempsey. Plays it in. And it was just too far ahead of uh, Whitehouse. I think that was quite what Bradshaw intended, but uh, he put Holden under a bit of pressure. But uh, he responded well. That looked like a push, but no referee says play on. And forward by Simpson. May. This is Shepstone. To the far post, and it's cleared again for the Poppies. Fox. Still Fox. Shot took a deflection. That'll be a goal kick. Donald. Taylor. Bit of space for him, but he was bundled off the ball. Free kick. So four men. The Stafford Rangers making a wall as the pop is shape up now from what 25 yards perhaps even further and a uh, little bit disappointing it was always too high Mark Dempsey was the man that had the shot Taylor picks it up now it's opened up a little bit for Taylor a chance for the shot and Taylor scored Robin Taylor there with the uh, catching second and it was a fine goal just inside that right hand post see it from a different viewpoint here's Taylor and there's the shot and there's the goal and there's the disappointed keeper
come forward for White House to chase. Long shots and oh, it uh, bounced awkwardly. Ryan Price just got a touch to it, pushed it onto the post. The shot was by Gareth Price, again from 25, 30 yards, and it very nearly beat his namesake, Ryan Price. May, forward by Bradshaw. Holden. There goes the whistle, half time and a very satisfactory half for the Poppers. They lead by two goals to nil. Poppers will want to build on what they achieved in the first half, a very competent performance. And Graham Benstead had probably one of the easiest 45 minutes he's ever had. Catching two goals up and very good value for that. This is Darren Bowie. Benstead came and punched and got some good distance on it but it's played back in have a look again you can see they came sharply off of his line and it was Stephen Holden that's gone down but uh, he's okay to continue me Play back in headed over the top Holden then with this free kick. This is Brown. Goes behind for the corner. Good looking corner and it's played back in. Reed almost, uh, well he did connect with the ball but it was the wrong side of Graham Reed. Stafford Rangers coming forward now on that far side but uh, it's gone out for a throw. Way by Holden, but it wasn't a good clearance, although Poppers have won it back. Here's Donald. This is looking more promising. There's two players in the middle. If the right ball can be found, oh, and it's very nearly an own goal. Came off of uh, Kettering player. They're coming forward again. Now this looks more promising, but oh, uh, what a shame then. Gareth Price not to have worked himself into a good position. Just couldn't quite get the shot in and just bubbled up as he shot and it's over the top. Poor cross. But Stafford keeping possession for the time being. Reed. And that shot to comfortably over the top. And in again, the keeper came and punched, and uh, I'm not sure how close he got to it, but it's uh, a goal kick that's been given, so it couldn't have been very close. And Taylor heading just wide. More dangerous now and all oh, just flicked up and onto the bar. The ball in was by Griffiths. And that header there just onto the bar by Leroy May. Now it's Bowie. 
And there goes the whistle. It's all over. It's uh, three more points for the Poppies. Those two first half goals. Good enough. Final score today at Rockingham Road. Ketchum Town 2. Stafford Rangers nil.